Hi guys, Dr. Linda Kramer and today is Tarot Day. Okay, the last two times that I've done my tarot on Sundays, I've incorporated a movie or a show into the reading, like a, sort of like a fable that gives us like a message, okay? Funny thing, last Thursday, I was actually sitting here thinking, I haven't watched a movie this week. Ha! Huh, now I know why. Because we have the biggest show on the planet folding out before our eyes. Let's go there. Queen Elizabeth II, her passing, has given us so much information about who we actually are, correct? We look at the longevity, the stamina, the endurance of this woman. And what we're seeing is a reflection within ourselves. Ironically, right now, as I speak, we're going through a full moon stage. So, what does it all mean when we've got the death of a monarch as well as the full moon occurring at the same time? So, first cards that she's telling me to do today, as I talk, I'm going to pull the beautiful cards of Louise Benton. Here's her website. And the description is below if you do want to go and buy a packet. So let's start getting some cards out. Tap, 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 tap. Thank you so much. I want one card that represents what those on the right loving side of the universal energies needs to hear this week. Okay? So let's just go there. First of all, some of the things that I've identified with the Queen's passing. We're now bringing in a new king. A new era has now just been created. So this is a time for us all, guys, to look at who we are. What have you got in your life that you no longer need? Get rid of it so you can bring in more stuff into the future. This is a time of energy transference, transplacement, getting rid of and creating new energies, which is also represented in the full moon, correct? One card, that's all I wish. No one, one card. That's all I wish for. Okay, so back to who we are this week. I don't know if you've been assessing who you are, what your hobbies are, what your passions, what your goals are, but this is the time now to bring it all in. Good things are now coming into play. You know, even the age of Queen Elizabeth, look at her, she was 96, very frail old lady okay but remember here she was unable to do a lot of things that she used to do 20 40 60 years ago yes in part of her reign one card is all i wish for okay now today i'm going to do a couple of different techniques with tarot cards the one that i usually do is where i pull a i shuffle like i'm doing and one card will just flick out Another way is to listen for them to hear stop. And it's always the card on the bottom. Okay, that's the one I go for, the one on the bottom. So just let me know if you want me to do it that way. No, they're not telling me. I just heard no, don't do it that way. Okay, but one way that we can do it is when we hear the word stop, okay, stop. You take the card that you see on the bottom, okay? And that's the love light card. Ooh, funny, you guys are funny. <laughs> funny. Okay, so you want to flick me out a card, so do it then, please. Just flick out one card that the whole world needs for this next week that are on the loving white side of your energies. All those on the good side of this war, please send us a card that we need to hear today. Okay, so what happens now the Queen has passed? We've got a new sovereign coming in. There's celebrations now once we've passed the funeral stage and the grief process, yes. But now we're in a celebration time. We are creating new things now. New um, laws will now be in, um, given in. New, yeah, I was looking at their clothing yesterday of the people marching with the ER with the two in the middle. All those embroidered shirts have now got to say CR3 because it's Charles Regent the third. Okay, Charles actually signed his proclamation yesterday. Charles R. Which means is the regent. Oh, ha! <laughs> Just flick me my card. Okay, I got my card. Which one is it? Love light. Oh, 
Did you see that? <laughs> I just sent that card and that's the card I got. Oh, see? All this stuff happens for a reason. And I'm glad that happened like that because they actually said, don't use that card because they wanted a confirmation. You know, some people out there actually say, is tarot right? Is it accurate? There it is, guys. I actually showed the card. Go back, rewind. About two minutes ago, I showed that exact same card and that was the one that just came out. Now they're saying go with the little lovey-dovey cards. Okay, lovey-dovey cards. Thank you so much. Okay, here's my little lovey-dovey cards. I love them. Okay, I'm just going to shuffle these guys. One card, please, for everybody on the right side of this wall. Now, if you don't know about the war that's occurring, you're invited to email me. My email is below, and I'm happy to share all the information I've got with links off YouTube. So it's not just me saying this. Okay, look at my hand. That just flicked out that one card. Okay, so I've got my little lovey-dovey card. Okay. Oh, now do the ruin before the tarot. Okay. All right, so one stone, please. It represents all of us on the right side of this wall. One, oh god, there's a hot one it's right in the middle there. It's that one. Okay, I always go for the hot one. It's like a little hot rock in there. And it's this one. Oh, yummy. Okay, so I've got him. Throw them over there. Okay, one thing I did not get is this guy, which is all my ruins. Okay, so I've got my ruin guide. Where's the beginning of it? Just to show you what this looks like. Oh gosh. Okay, that's what it looks like, guys. It's my ruin guide. Okay. So now let's go over to this one. All right. So. Okay. So, yes, I invite people to email me. Okay. You're welcome to email me and ask questions. I wake up and I usually get about anywhere from a... And some days I've got 300 emails there. I don't mind. I love going through each one of them. Okay. So you are invited to email me if you want to know my prophecies for the next two years or if you just want to ask a question about anything. Okay, I love people who just email me and I'm, oh, there's my card. Look, it's, it's flipped. There it is. It's flipped over. So it's that one. Oh, okay. Funny how that one just popped out straight away. Okay. So I do invite people to contact me. Okay. Okay, I've got my four cards now. Well, and my ruin. Three and my ruin. Okay, so this week, guys, it's all about changes are happening. Energy, old energy. Now, isn't that funny because the queen was so old? Old energy is now being replaced for younger, good versions. Okay, I'm going to take the word good out of there. Okay, we don't know what Charles is going to do as king. Okay, um yeah go watch my prophecy that i just did a couple of days ago yeah weird because uh, i'm getting a lot of con you know the best thing about what i do guys is people give me confirmations they say oh yes i'm getting the same information so please read the comments there pardon me about my prophecy with king charles because there was a few emails there where people have actually said i agree with this this i've seen this too that charles will only be king for about two years okay let's see how this plays out so back to today and this week coming we have a full moon now do you know what the full moon represents oh my gosh i always say the full moon is where we clean out the old energy and we ask for the new energy to come in this is the week where we can get job opportunities this is the week where um we get people come into our lives new friends new relationships okay this is where you'll get a stray cat just turning up at your door and you think oh i'm gonna love you forever <laughs> so you bring it in and give it a glass of milk and there you go you got your best friend for the rest of your life okay this is the week where we make our dreams and goals a reality so this is where we have to manifest correctly okay how do we manifest correctly we say virtually i deserve this because a lot of people actually have a belief that they're not deserving. So when we flip it around and say, you know what? I am deserving. I am rewarded for what I do. I'm a good person. I self-help that dog without any sort of reason or motive. Now I deserve that back in this karmic balancing of the energies with the full moon as well as the passing of the monarch okay so the first card that i've got is called the love light look at the beautiful artwork by louise benton 
If you do want her cards, the link is below. Here it is if you do want to pause the screen and have a read. Love Light. Okay, let's go straight into it. Each lifetime is a chance to learn and to grow. It's only through experience you will know. The profound interconnectedness of all of existence, the essence of you, a timeless, formless witness. You hold all the encompassing magic of creation, a fractal of God's divine emanation. So behold your divinity and let go of fear. Remember the truth of why you are here. Letting go of fear, that's a big one for a lot of people this week, right? Treasure these moments, the tastes, sounds and sights. Breathe in the air, let your feet touch the ground. Embrace this experience with sublime contemplation as this story is expressed through you on behalf of creation. I am a fractal of God's divine emanation. So what do I get from this is remember the source, guys, heaven. Remember them. We are part of them. You know, God is not external to us. We have God within us. As soon as we recognize that his divine energy frequency is within us and we wish to act on his behalf. In other words, we want to be angelic. And you say to yourself, I am going to let go of all this negativity in my life. No longer will I be sarcastic. No more will I gossip about people. I am going to compliment and cherish everything and everybody on the planet. I will not judge or accuse others. That's the greatest start we can do. Where we then start to realize the value and importance of ourselves and also we can take a hold of our future because look at what's just happened the death of a monarch the new sovereign has just been named king charles the third we have a future that's just been created the full moon ironically today it is also dictating the creation of newness how many times do we say go out and put your crystals into the sun into the moonlight why do we do that to manifest our future we are creating so this is where we realize our creator is a part of us where our lives are eternal it's only this life that isn't but we all go on and we strive to be our best now my little lovey-dovey card for this week it is Love would try to remain optimistic. <laughs> My God. I hope you're laughing at how how connected these cards all are. You know, every week this happens for me. Okay, let's get go straight into the ruin because that is self-explanatory, right? <laughs> Love would try to remain optimistic. Let go of all that sarcasm. Let go of all those gossiping behaviors that we do don't judge others or accuse them of why why i actually don't like the word why because it's always diminishing and we all it's always accusing why haven't you taken the bins out okay that's actually diminishing the other person when we say it like that so don't use the word why i don't like why to put in that context okay so now we're going over to the ruined stones it looks like a crazy yes okay let's go find him in my book okay what a great spread we're having this week guys you know this is beautiful where's this s one i've lost him Are you serious? I can't see it. Where is it? That's not it. Oh! <laughs> Some days I can't see the forest for the trees. Okay, he's right here, guys. Okay, it's this one here. See? There he is. It's this one here. And it's called So We Low. So We Low. And it's the Sunstone. Are you ready? Let's go there. Because then we've still got this one, remember? Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Okay. The sun is success. Oh, yeah. Things are coming good, guys. Okay. One of the three fire ruins. 
for Nordic people the sun and its power to warm, heal mind and body and grow crops was rare and treasured. <gasps> rare things are coming this week. You know, and look at the monarchy. Most of us would never have seen Queen Elizabeth being or um, cor- uh, her coronation. Okay? This is so rare. If even they were saying that last night. All this pampetry about the proclamations with the town criers coming out where they're declaring a new king. All this is so rare. We don't see those uniforms. We don't see those bands playing through the town of London. Okay? It's so rare what is now happening all over the planet because it's not just the UK. How many other countries are watching this? Part of the Commonwealth or not? Everybody's watching this. Everyone's intrigued to see that pompery, that the class, the uniforms of old, medieval thoughts. You know, I love it that we're seeing all this old medieval stuff coming out of the woodwork because I love my castles, right? Okay, so rare and treasured. Now, treasured also, hello. I saw this guy yesterday carrying this gold stick thing and I thought, wow, that's not real gold because he's carrying it with one hand. (laughs) But imagine if that was made of pure gold, the treasures that are coming out of the woodwork now. Okay, so the sun, we've got three dot points. Let's go there, okay? The first one, a strong positive ruin signaling the presence of success in almost any upcoming activity or pursuit. (gasps) How good is this? Okay, good for health, self-confidence and happiness. We've gone through two years of drama. Now it's time to celebrate. Look at the, you know, the, the king coming in now. This is a time for celebration. You know, he's obviously not a young man himself. He's 73 himself. 73? Uh, 70? I don't know. 73? Anyway, but... However old he is, he's not a young guy. He's going to struggle doing all these world tours and things that he now has to do for the Commonwealth, right? So let's just appreciate that he's now given that opportunity. And that's what it's all about, guys. Appreciating the opportunities that are coming to us all. Use this full moon to its best. This is where we say, you know what? Thank you so much for looking after me until this point. Thank you so much for all the good and the bad things that have occurred in my life for it is all a learning curve for me thank you so much i honor it i respect it and i love it all all good and bad but now i wish to reap those rewards for my harvest now please bring on the treasure bring on those treasured adored moment cherished moments bring on that joy and those brownie points of heaven for I am trying my best in a very strange world these days. I deserve to be ad- admired and acknowledged for the work that I am doing. And this is where we can say, you know what? I do deserve to be rewarded for the hard and enduring life that I've had up until now. Okay? All right. So it's good for health, self-confidence, and for happiness. Last ruins um, dot point, it says, also indicates significant personal growth, inner inner strength, and the potential to achieve goals. Whoa! Wow! How amazing are these cards today? Okay? I hope that you're getting something out of this, guys. I really do, because these cards are amazing. So now we go into my last card for the day, which is the tarot card. Guess what I got? I got temperance. It is 14 in the major arcana. And it's a lady wearing red. Ooh, I love the lady wearing red. Okay, let's have a look. Cause I, well, I just, I don't know if you noticed it, but I just picked up my book and was looking for it in my book. So here she is in my book, the temperance lady. Okay, let's go have a look at her and what she says. <clears throat> Temperance represents moderation, having patience, the ability to compromise to find satisfac- satisfactory solutions, diplomacy and cooperation, and balanced emotions. It is a card for successfully integrating opposite forces. 
Now, the straight away, the, the opposite forces that we've got now is the sadness of losing Queen Elizabeth II. And we've also got the happiness, the celebration of welcoming Queen, um, King Charles III, right? So the other thing that I want to show here in, in this first paragraph is the word patience. Temperance represents moderation, having patience. Don't expect all those brownie points to just occur instantaneously when you ask for them. Because everything is a process in the universe, okay? Everything happens when its due course is due to happen, okay? But we can always put that energy out there and say, you know what, I want those rewards. But it's when we expect them that we won't get them. So have that patience. Make the proclamation. <laughs> Proclamations are big this week, right? Make the proclamation that you deserve it, that you want it, that you want your brownie points. Bring in everything that I deserve for who I am. And then let it be. Don't expect it to occur. Let the universe do that stuff for you, okay? Okay, with harmony and compatibility, it suggests the perfect union, okay? It can also represent a receptive environment for reconciliations to take place. Now, reconciliations are balancing out energies, Huh. So consider if you've got a friend or a family member that you haven't spoken to for a long time or you left them on harsh words. Think about rebalancing that energy. A kind word. Or just thinking about them in a kind light. Because that's still connecting to the energy force and correcting that. You don't have to actually go and physically see them or phone them, okay? You can just think about them and say, you know what? I do send you love. I understand who you are. You're different to me. I don't have to accept you, but I allow you to be who you are. And it doesn't mean that I have to be there with you, but we're on a different life path. So I acknowledge that you're doing your best and I'm doing mine. Okay? That's how we realign those energies. Okay? Where justice presents balanced thought, temperance stands for balanced emotions. Okay, so this is where we're all now balancing out our emotions. Look at the grief at the death of the Queen compared to the exaltation and the happiness, the celebration of creating a new king. Okay, so we're going to go through... And also the, <laughs> the full moon. I don't know about you guys, but on a full moon, I never sleep for three nights. I have the worst sleep. And this is every month. The, the full moon, there's always three nights where I don't sleep and I have the weirdest dreams. Okay. So let me know if you fall into that category. Okay. Last paragraph of this one. Always a lovely, gentle card when it appears in readings. The temperance angel often brings healing. Oh! So this is a global healing that's now occurring, guys. Okay? This is where we can sit there this week, come in, and we just sit there and we say, you know what, I've been through the war. Now it's time to heal. This is where I'm going to go out and I'm going to shine my energy and I'm going to allow others to see the beauty within me. I'm going to be caring, loving, kind, gen compassionate, patient, understanding, and most of all, forgiving. For I don't need to understand why people do what they do. I'm going to forgive them anyway, because it's none of my business what they do. It's none of my business what they think. As long as I'm doing the right thing, and as long as I'm trying my best in hard times, to get through this thing called life, then I know that my life will be looked after. Anything else you want me to say? Yes. <laughs> Straight away she just said yes. Okay, go back to who? Okay. Love would try to remain optimistic. She said, go back to your little card, which I'm just going to present here as the, the lovey-dovey card, little card. Okay. Love would try to remain optimistic. So this week, guys... Stay optimistic. Try not to let bad thoughts fill your head. 
whenever you had a sad moment, obviously calculate, is this worthy? Is this justified to be sad? But if you're just having sad thoughts, you shut those down. You say, you know what, Linda? I'm not going to give you permission to be sad today. I'm not going to give you permission to be anxious. I'm not going to give you permission to feel less worthy than you are. And if those energies are coming in from somebody else or some or something else, I cast you out for you have no right or permission to be on me. I am happy. I am strong. I am fulfilled, loving, kind and generous. Oh. I don't know if you repeated that with me, but I feel great now. I'm going to go and have a good day. Okay, well, that's it for today. Talk to you all next week. Bye.